Cleveland's new lead safe certification process, folks. This is big. This is big news for Cleveland. And the last time uh, that I saw an article on this uh, was some statistics. It was like a month or two ago. Uh, we're talking something like only 7,000 of the 90,000 or so rental units in the city of Cleveland have actually gone through the lead safe certification process. This ain't going anywhere, folks. This is the new reality. This is life now. So what we're going to do in today's show is go over exactly how you can get your rental properties lead certified. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you. I'm here to help you, folks. I'm here to answer your real estate questions, right? That's what we do. The Ask James Wise Show. It would be crazy if I wasn't James Wise, now wouldn't it? Now, uh, we're going to be talking about the Cleveland Lead Safe certification process because, like I said, an overwhelming majority of people have not gone through the process, right? Very small amount, right? Last time I checked, like I said, like 7,000 of the 90,000 or so rental units. That is a very, very, very small amount of properties going through this thing. And everything needs to be done by December 31st, 2022, right? As I talk to you guys today, it's February. So we got we got 10 months left, right? 10 months left. To get a whole lot of rental units in the city of Cleveland certified, right? I got a map here for you. They rolled it out uh, based upon zip codes, right? Every single zip code had a differing time in which the property was required to be certified, okay? Now, it's a new law. It's a new process. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of landlords are confused, and perhaps even more uh, concerning to me is I see a lot of real estate agents out there that appear to be confused as well. Now, a couple things we need to understand as we talk through this, right? A lot of people who watch Holton Wise TV, right? Y'all know us. You know what Holton Wise is all about, right? For those of you who don't, maybe you're new here. Maybe this is the first time you ever watched Holton Wise TV because you're trying to figure out how in the heck you get your property lead certified. Holton Wise runs the largest scattered site rental portfolio of its kind in the greater Cleveland area. I've sold over $200 million worth of investment properties in this area. When I say the greater Cleveland area, and this is key, folks, that's like the large majority of Northeast Ohio. That is not just the city of Cleveland, right? So a lot of people that are viewing Holton Wise TV – you're viewing this because you're interested in real estate investing in the greater Cleveland area. The whole area that Holton Wise services and the whole area that I often talk about here on the various shows on Holton Wise TV, we're talking a population of like four to five million people. The city of Cleveland itself, where these new laws are going to apply, only has approximately like 360 to 400,000 people, right? It's somewhere between like 340 and 400,000 people last time I checked, okay? So that is a small subset of this market, right? So we're working in various cities and municipalities. So if you're watching this and you have a rental property in Lorain, Ohio, this does not apply to you. If you have a rental property in Lakewood, Ohio, does not apply to you. If you have a property, and this one's tricky, in Cleveland Heights or East Cleveland, doesn't apply to you. Cleveland Heights, not Cleveland. East Cleveland, not Cleveland. Cleveland on the east side, right? You hear people talk about this. Like, oh, this property's on the west side of Cleveland. The east side of Cleveland. Yeah, that applies to you because it's in the city of Cleveland, right? But I see a lot of folks out there, especially on a national scale, right? A lot of my out-of-state investors, a lot of people watching us from, like, California or New York. Uh, you guys are having trouble understanding the difference between uh, local lingo. People saying, oh, it's in East Cleveland versus it's on the east side of Cleveland, right? East Cleveland, its own municipality. East side of Cleveland, that's the city of Cleveland, but like on the east side of it and on the west side, right? Okay, so we got that all out of the way. So this, all the stuff we're talking about here today, it's just going to encompass the city of Cleveland. So if after you watch this show and you're thinking about buying rental properties in the greater Cleveland market, 
if they are located in the city of Cleveland, this is what you're going to need to do every two years. If this is untenable to you and you do not want to deal with this, that's fine. I accept your stance, but it is non-negotiable in the city of Cleveland. So you need to buy properties in some of the other municipalities out there. Can't be the city of Cleveland. Maybe you should look at Lorraine, Elyria, Parma, Lakewood, Garfield Heights, Newburgh Heights, you name it. Bunch of other cities, but it can't be Cleveland. Because if it's Cleveland, you better get on board with this because there ain't no way around it, right? And I'm going to walk you through the process, okay? It's a pretty tough, difficult process. It's confusing. I mean, it's 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 the government, right? The government, the government don't do anything simple, okay? They don't do anything streamlined, right? Step one, all right. I'm gonna go over ten steps for you to take this thing down. Step one, an initial uh, <clears throat> an initial lead hazard inspection is performed by an experienced lead inspector. A lead hazard report is generated, right? So they're going to the property, visually inspecting for lead hazards, okay? Step two, Holton Wise reinspects the property with the initial lead hazard report in hand, and we create a lead safe certification scope of work slash bid, right? So you take the lead hazard initial lead hazard report, we take that information, we go back out there with our contracting team, and we put together the bid and the scope of work, right? Let you know, okay, this is what they said the hazards are, this is what we need to do to correct them, and this is how much it's going to cost, right? How much green you're going to need to pay, right? Uh the lead safe step three, the lead safe certification scope of work slash bid is given to the property owner, you, uh, for approval, right? If we give it to you and you're like, ah, I don't got that much money. You got a couple options. Option one, sell your property. Option two, you're fucked. See option one. because <laughs> It's not negotiable, folks. It's the government, right? If you want to continue to rent your property, this is what you have to do, right? There's nothing uh, that can be done, right? You can't be like, ah, I don't want to do that. Let's uh, let's do something else. That's not how the law works. So, uh, you know, that that's where you're at, okay? That's that's what you guys need to know, right? And that's why I was touching on earlier, right? Uh, what's concerning to me is, is I, I see a lot of uh, listings, right? I see a lot of listings out there right now with Cleveland Properties. And I, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of real estate agents are not aware of this process because I see all these properties on the MLS being sold and they're rental properties. And nowhere in the notes or the comments is anybody mentioning anything about whether or not the property has gone through this lead hazard certification process, right? So we need to get the awareness out there. Again, only about 7,000 of the estimated 90,000 rental units in the city of Cleveland have been through this process, folks. That's not a lot. There's a lot of people who are not understanding this, right? So if you're considering investing in this market, uh, buying some rental properties, you need to get on board with this because it ain't going anywhere. So other realtors, if you know realtors out there and you're watching this show, you need to send this to them, right? Because people need to know this information, right? This is non-negotiable, right? So it's not like a point of sale inspection, okay? More info on that. It's going to be in the notes below, right? I've done a lot of content on point of sale inspections in the greater Cleveland area, right? goes back to... Cleveland, just one city in the greater Cleveland area. Cleveland itself, folks, does not have a point of sale inspection process, but a lot of the other cities do. Cities that do have it, for example, Cleveland Heights, Garfield Heights, Euclid, right? These are cities with point of sale inspections. And what that is, right? You can't you can't get away from that. You can't brush that under the rug. You can't sell a property and not understand that that process had to happen because they won't let you. What happens is the city will not allow you to transfer title on a property until the point of sale inspections are either assumed by the buyer or fixed by the seller, right? So before anybody can sell, they have to go in pay for the city to come out, do this point of sale inspection, and then they need to either fix them and then they could sell it, POS violation clear, 
or the buyers can sign an affidavit agreeing to assume those violations, and if they don't correct them in an appropriate amount of time, they're then going to face fines and potential building code violations. And oftentimes, every municipality is a little bit different. Sometimes an escrow needs to be put up. Like, so if there's 5,000 repairs, you, as the buyer assuming them, need to put $5,000 in escrow, then use a different $5,000 uh, to fix the violations before they'll give you back your $5,000. Things of that nature, right? More information on the POS going to be in the notes below, right? But we're not talking about POS today. We're talking about these lead violations, right? So here's the thing. It's not like a point of sale, okay? It's not required on every property. It's required on rental properties, right? So there's nothing that's going to pause, right? There's nothing that's going to stop the sale until that happens, right? So if you're unaware, you're an unaware buyer, or if you're an unaware seller, you could just sell your property. A uh, new buyer has no idea they bought a property that could potentially have these issues, and then they get a huge bill uh, next time they go uh, to actually go through this process, right? Because if you don't go through this process, the city is doing a couple things. Number one, they're not allowing you to register your rental properties, and number two, they're not allowing you to evict your tenants, right? So... If you have a tenant who's not paying rent in the city of Cleveland and uh, you go to file an eviction, they're going to be like, oh, you, your house is not uh, lead hazard certified. Can't evict them, brah. Or, oh, your house, your house is not a registered uh, rental property, right? And if you don't register your rental property, you also uh, can face fines and violations and, and building code violations, right? So you got to do this and you need to know what's happening, but there's not going to be a stopgap during the actual sale. So people pay attention, put it on the other real estate professionals out there to understand this is happening because time and time again, I am looking at Cleveland rental properties for sale that have tenants. Sellers got no idea this is a requirement now. The listing agent, no friggin' idea, right? That is very dangerous, okay? So, owner, you're either a proven, you're approving the bid, you're doing the work, or you better get ready to sell because there ain't other, any other way you're running your rental property in the city of Cleveland. Now, after the owner approves it, the lead safe scope of work must be performed by an RRP licensed lead safe contractor. That is important. It can't be any contractor, special license. RRP licensed lead safe contractor, okay? What that is. That is issued by the EPA, okay, the United States Environmental Protection Agency. They're kind of a big deal, okay? Lead Renovation Repair and Painting Program. EPA's Lead Renovation Repair and Painting Rule, RRP, rule requires that firms performing renovation repair and painting projects that disturb lead-based paint in homes, child care facilities and preschools built before 1978 be certified by EPA or an EPA authorized state. Use certified renovators who are trained by EPA approved training providers and follow lead safe work practices. And of course, folks, you know, Holton Wise is certified. Okay. Don't let anybody that doesn't have this certification, try to do this work or it ain't going to happen, okay? You got to be certified. You need to work with professionals, folks. If ever there was a time for landlords and property owners to ensure they had properly licensed individuals handling the, the repairs and work on their property, that should always have been the case, but it is more so important today, right? They need to be certified, okay? Now, step number five, after the lead safe scope of work is completed, a HUD cycle cleaning is done on the property to prepare it for lead dust sample testing by an EPA licensed lead risk assessor. Now, this is very important to note, that's a different, it's different than the contractor, right? The RRP contractor cannot be the licensed lead risk assessor and vice versa. It's got to be arm's length. can't be the same, okay? It's got to be different, right? Okay, and this HUD cycle cleaning, woo -hoo! Oh, this HUD cycle cleaning, folks, this is information on it, okay? This is how it works. Uh, this is 23 pages, okay? 
Uh, I'll just scroll through them quickly. What we'll do uh, at the end of the video here, uh, we'll play it out for you, right? So you don't have to go looking for this. Uh, we'll have it right here at the end of the video. I'll have my guys put it up for you guys uh, full screen, and we'll just end the video playing it out so you could actually go through and read this thing. But this ain't... Uh, like, you just go and put on some gloves and uh, grab the mop and some Dawn dish soap and you just get to clean it. No, 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 no. 23 pages of regulations that ensure you do this cleaning appropriately, okay? This ain't no joke, folks. This, this, this certification process, these new laws, this is going to change the landscape uh, of the Cleveland housing market. I'll leave it to you. Uh, to determine if you find that to be for the better or for the worse. What I'm just telling you guys is you need to understand that this is here. This ain't going anywhere, right? So at the end of this video, stick around. Don't go anywhere. If you want to read that 23-page uh, HUD cycle cleaning document in its entirety, we will have it for you, right? So after you get that property professionally cleaned again there ain't no way you're doing that yourself no 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 you got to follow 23 pages of guidelines okay after that happens it takes us to step six an epa licensed lead risk assessor performs a visual lead hazard inspection to ensure all previously noted les ha lead hazards have been corrected by the rrp licensed lead safe contractor okay so we had the initial inspection Hazards were identified. Hazards were fixed by Holton Wise or a different RRP licensed lead safe contractor. Remember, must have this license. After that, we go through the cleaning process. 23 pages of regulations on that. Now we're getting a visual. If that is passed, okay, if the visual is passed, if it fails, Obviously, you got to fix why it failed. But if it passes now, uh, if the property passes the visual lead hazard inspection, the EPA licensed lead risk assessor performs a lead dust sampling of the property to submit to lab for lead level testing, right? We're looking for lead. They're doing a dust test, right? We're doing some CSI stuff now, right? Where's Horatio Kane? Okay, we're doing some of that action. Now, if the property passes the lead level Lab testing, the EPA licensed lead risk assessor then drafts a lead clearance examination report, which is required by the Ohio Administrative Code 3701-32, right? And that report, it's not just like a, a couple-page report. I actually got a recent one that we got uh, for uh, one of our properties. This is a big report. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen pages, right? And that's going to be uh, per unit, right? So if you got a bigger apartment building, imagine how many pages that thing's going to be. This ain't no joke, folks, right? So you get uh, this report, right? Along with this report, it's like kind of all in the packet, okay? You get uh, the. Uh, lead safe certification application, right? Because you need information uh, filled out by that uh, assessor, right? So along with the lead clearance examination report, this thing, 16 pages is what this one is. Other properties could be more, could be less, right? Multi-units, you're going to have them a lot more, right? But it's not a small report, very large report, right? Along with the lead clearance examination report, the EPA licensed lead risk assessor provides Holton Wise uh, or a different uh, RRP licensed contractor uh, with a lead safe certification application. Again, all in this packet, right? And then the final step, right? From there, uh, we go ahead and submit the lead safe certification application along with the lead clearance examination to the city of Cleveland for the issuance of the property's lead safe certificate, right? I think I got a typo in there for issuance of property's lead safe certificate issuance. Yeah. This probably didn't need to be there. I think we typoed that one, folks. But that, that is the process. And as you can tell from the fact that uh, I had to make 10 separate slides explaining this thing, it's, of course, a very simple process. Am I right? Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at, folks. This is what needs to happen if you are a rental property owner in Cleveland, if you would like uh, to rent a property in the city of Cleveland 
all of this needs to happen. If you are living in a property that you are renting from a landlord, your landlord needs to get this done, right? I uh, can't have anybody out there not doing this, right? So landlords, property owners, this is what you need to do. Cleveland residents, tenants, if your landlord ain't doing this, Hop on the phone, talk to your uh, local council person, building department, whoever, because this, this, folks, this is the new reality in the city of Cleveland, right? That's all I got for you today on this. If you have any further questions, you need any more points of clarification, you can do a couple things. You can check out the fact on HoltonWise.com. We got a ton of content links, information for you on this and much more related to uh, the Cleveland housing market, investing in properties in Cleveland, renting properties in Cleveland. We got all that for you. We're the number one resource out here. Uh, in addition, if you guys have any more pointed questions, some points of clarification you'd like made in the video, uh, you could drop those in the comments. Actually, why I got you here, one thing I didn't even really mention, uh, this, this whole process, right, lead-based paint, uh, this is going to be applicable to houses that are built before 1978, right? So if you're living in a house or you own a house that was built in 2005, none of this applies to you, folks. Lead-based paint was outlawed in the United States of America in 1978. So any house built before 1978 uh, is required uh, to go through this process every two years in the city of Cleveland. Anything after it's exempt, don't need to worry about it. And then one other thing, all the documents that you have – now going to be required for you to include uh, anytime you rent the property as well as anytime you sell the property. So all this information that I went over, all these reports, realtors out there, no, you and your clients need to save these tenants. They got to see these things every time they go to rent the property. Anytime you sell it, like a lot of realtors are aware, we got the uh, state required lead-based paint disclosure form. Well, all of this stuff is now required to be disclosed as well. And again, only applying to properties in the city of Cleveland that are rental properties built before 1978. And as promised now, uh, we'll go ahead and put up the HUD cycle cleaning, the 23-page uh, guidelines and disclosures for you guys. We'll play you out with that so you guys can go ahead and review those in their entirety. My lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running shit right, see And I ain't playing games, I create my own lane Making pleasure out of pain, uh Turning losses into gains, I'm the boss, I'm making change I've been rocking this exchange, uh Popping off and risking things, gonna make a fucking name I just wanna be famous But I don't want that cheap fame, no I'm not that vain I just wanna be greatness I just wanna be greatness Going off every chance I get I don't really take a loss, well I'll admit That's why I'll make it to the top, yeah I commit And no I'm never getting lost, I get after it Investing in my own stock cause it's faster than Any crypto hits go, let me spend Everything that you see is something I invent And it's only a percent I'm gonna take shots if I miss all, forget it I'll take a fat loss just to learn all that's in it I'm taking snapshots, learning how to fall and get it I'm getting back up, always stand tall don't sweat it, I never back up, I don't miss a thing or regret it I'm always learning, you could call me academic I'm always working, never been apathetic Bad energy is like a poison, needs some antiseptic <laughs> Love in my 
watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.